Let's look at some Lewis structures with our exceptions. One of the cases we'll be considering is expanded octet. There are cases in which the central atom has more than 8 electrons around it. Compounds that have sulfur, phosphorus, chlorine usually can extend their octet. They use their D subshell and can have more than 8 electrons around it. Some of the examples of expanded, uh, expanded or extended octet is sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid. We have seen sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid under the Lewis structure also. I put it here as, as a special case as well. SF6, PF5 and ClO2 are some of the examples. Let's go ahead and see how their octet, uh, their Lewis structure looks. Let's start with the Lewis structure of sulfuric acid. As usual, let's count how many valence electron has. Uh, it has um, six, one sulfur, six electron, six from sulfur, 24 from oxygen, and two from hydrogen, giving a total valence electron of 32. When I distribute it over the, uh, the sulfur as a central atom, so a structure with uh, two double bonds and two single bonds giving a total of six bonds around it or 12 electrons around it. Such a structure is possible for sulfuric acid as it can expand its octet using the D subshell. If you look at the actual Lewis structure of sulfuric acid in the other part of the video I have given, it can also form a structure with uh, in which the octet is um, it has correct octet, it has 8 electrons around it, but in such a case it will have charge on the atoms. So this is a structure in which it, octet is extended, but there is no charge on the atoms. So the next structure we are going to consider is phosphoric acid. Let's count the valence electrons. We have total 32 valence electron in phosphoric acid. Once I distribute it, so I can have a structure for uh, phosphoric acid in which Phosphorus is surrounded by 5 bonds or 10 electrons. Such a structure is not possible for nitrogen because though nitrogen and phosphorus belong to the same group, nitrogen has no D subshell, therefore it cannot extend its octet. The next structure we have is uh, SF6. Sulfur also has uh, uh, can use its D uh, subshell to extend its octet. And if you look at the total valence electron 48, when uh, distributed around sulfur, can have uh, it gives uh, 12 electrons around sulfur with 6 bonds. Another example is PF5. We saw earlier that phosphorus can extend its uh, octet. So when it combines with halogen, it can extend its octet. And you can see that the in case of PF5, it has got 10 electrons around it. Similar to PF5, we can have compounds like PCL5, PBR5 and PI5 also. But a compound like NF5 or NCL5 cannot be formed as, as I mentioned before, nitrogen cannot expand its octet. An example with chlorine as a central atom. This example will come again in uh, another case also. This has a total of 19 electrons and because there is an odd number of electrons, chlorine also has a single electron. So this is a special case in which chlorine can extend its octet and also has a lone electron, a very reactive compound. So the compounds mentioned in this video are some special cases and where the central element has more than 8 electrons around it. 